here, March 28th, beautiful Alaska spring, and we're having slow, leisurely, big, fat, white snowflakes this morning. And it's beautiful, and it cracks me up at the same time. Here's the thing. I stayed home today from all of Mike's appointments because there were things I needed to get done around home. And mainly, I have some admin office stuff that I was going to do this morning. And this afternoon, I wanted to um, get dog poop cleaned up. But with all this snow, I'm going to have to do it this morning if I hope to find it before it's all covered again. And it's not like we haven't cleaned it up every, probably every seven to ten days. Um, but... It has happened quite often where before you get out here, it gets covered in snow. As I was saying, Mike and the boys have been working and working to get all the ice that was from here. It goes up to the road up there, and it goes around behind the house to the back. And it had all started to melt and become a big skating rink. So they've been chipping ice for a week, but it really is nasty. and. There's parts up near the road that are thawing, parts you can see straight out there by the woodshed that are thawing, but now it's all going to be covered by snow, and in some ways that makes it just a little bit easier, but um, I'm not sure what it does for driving, but this snow is great. Well, I really should quit talking, shouldn't I? And I should quit looking at the snow and get out here and find all the dog poop and go dig a hole for the rest of the compost and get it done before it gets any snowier out here. But this is what Alaska spring is. And I also wanted to mention the other thing that I do remember from Alaska spring is as everything starts to melt, we don't get green, it's brown underneath and things begin to decay and all of Alaska kind of smells like poop until the decay is done and then we get our green and then breakup is over and then we get our green I guess is the way it goes. I'm a little fuzzy but that's what I remember and I remember the season of smelling is on its way. And fun thing about the snow now is it's got like this crunchy icy layer to it so you never know when you take a step if you're going to stay on top or sink to the bottom. And you know, I know as much work as Mike and I have done trying to keep on top of Yuki's Dookie. When it melts, it's going to be something out here. But we have really tried. And I'm looking out here and thinking, where in the world do we want to put the chicken coop? Ugh. Whoa. Or... I don't know. This big side yard, which would be great for a garden, has our septic tank underneath, so that's not going to work so well. And really, it looks like we'll have to move, if I turn this way, you can see back in there. It looks like that's kind of the spot to be put in gardens and chicken coops, unfortunately. The terrain sort of slides down, which is why the kids have really enjoyed having, whoops, this little sledding hill back here, but um, it means all the water is going to slide downhill, and I'm not sure that's a great place to locate a garden or a chicken coop either, so we better figure it out because our chicks are on the way, and the seedlings are growing. I'm really, really glad that my little makeshift greenhouse that I was smart enough to take it inside before it got this cold and started snowing because it really wasn't warming it up that much. So now we have we have a garden on our table and it's okay. Some people have trunk gardens and we have a table garden and it's okay. It'll work for a month or two.